Thompson do his ruck work. So plenty to counter for Ivan Maric as the third quarter begins at Patterson Stadium. Fife and Sandilands together. A couple of goes at it. White intervenes. Morris and Richmond it is that thrusts forward first. McGuan copping plenty from Dawson, which allowed McPhee to play the game on his own terms there. Finds Mundy at half back. Switch to the outer side. This is Spur linking with McFarlane. He can be aggressive and drive for Crowley. Delidio back back and got his timing right there, Delidio. Again, Valentine. Coming at the right moment and drives it into the chest of Pavlich. This is just beyond him. Bradley in the square makes his move into the pocket and then doubles. I don't, I don't think so, I, don't, yeah. I reckon he can kick him from here. I reckon that's where that breeze comes in behind your back a bit there, Yeah, Jacko. right, sure. He'll certainly, if he gets it up at three-quarter height level, he'll, he'll uh, make the distance very easy here. Okay. See how Rance played a metre off him behind? Because he's worried about Pavlich's ability to run back to goal. So he's conceding front position now. So he's going to get a few of those easier lead-up at the uh, ball carrier marks. So Pavlich comes Stats. in. It's going to go close, but uh, just in searching for that distance, it's away to the right. It's just a behind. It's just a, um, a stab-type driving kick. He didn't really follow through. Now, see how Rance has gone for rear position. I just saw the way the Fremantle came out of their defensive area there with that switch, and it was pretty easily. That's, that's what Richmond have to try and manufacture, some of that easy switch play to get some uh, easy uh, foot disposals. Edwards oh, was trying to work that out in his head as he kicked it. Didn't quite get the, the sums right, I don't think. No. Pierce set them away. It's Johnson that drives in the Crowley direction. Good fight from the Tigers again. They'll need all hands on deck here, though. DeBoer shoveled it out to Pavlich. Rance just rolled him over, really. Joel Selwood on Adam Selwood style. Just a bit of a gentle roll. That's exactly what Matty DeBoer's in that side for. Yep. Not just his goal kicking, but defensive forward, keep the ball in there by pressure. These are vital moments early in the third. Tigers defending grimly and need to. Martin to get it out of there, sort of kick. Back to half back. Helbig. Now Cochin. Suddenly things change when Cochin's got the footy. Oh, oh. the kick wasn't bad, but King couldn't quite hang on. And suddenly three hour forward again to Boer. As Edwards very nearly gave away 50. Pavlich demanding oh, it. Oh, he can kick it, nothing. I think even he's too far out from there. It'll land in the square. Oh, Tuck willing to take a chest mark. <laughs> oh, boy. I think they lost sight of it coming out of the sun. You can see the shadow running past him there. Yeah. So where that came from, they were all looking directly into the sun. Tuck goes for distance. And high. And that'll suit Sandilands, who got there and probably would have marked it. Masunga was able to take it away instead. It comes back to De Boer. Had a couple of sideness, but he's missed everything there. Getting a bit of it again, the Dockers. 18 possessions to nine in this third quarter so far. That's see they... Operating at 60% efficiency. Let's see if they hem them in here again, Freeman. Or Richmond want to get the switch here, but it doesn't look like it's not on. This is exactly how Ross Lyon wants to set up behind the play here. And look Long at down the line. Yeah. They're playing as if they can feel what's at stake here, both teams. There's plenty of mistakes, but they know the rewards are high. Don't go back in. No. This game delicately balanced. Here's De Boer again to Barlow. They are lining up Fremantle this time. McFarlane Johnson had a bit of a run up. He tries to draw his teammate Main to the footy rather than the other way around. Main really wasn't ready for it. And Helbig sees it out. Still, Hutto, the more that you go back inside 50, sooner or later the dam's going to break. This is the forward press at its best. It sort of dropped off in modern football since last year, matter of fact, as in statistically. Bradley down to Pavlich, was able to eke out a kick. Back to the square, and that'll do for Main. Who takes the mark? They get a sharp angle to negotiate here. He plays oh. on and left them looking foolish. Drives the goal through. Well, who was on that mark? Helbig. If that was Helbig and he's coming off the ground now, I think running straight to the bench. You have to have a massive look at yourself playing inside the corridor. Well, well done, the main. Just have the nouse what to do here. As I said, the dam's going to break sooner or later if you keep pumping it forward. 
Now, Helbig plays inside the corridor, and Main sees that he does that, goes up, marks it. Helbig still thinks he's going to come in. That is bizarre. So, a strange old goal oh. for Main. Let's have a look at the time that's been played in forward half. Now, it's only early days in this third quarter, but they are ominous signs for the Tigers, unless they can somehow change the way this game's being played. Marich again has to counter Sandlins. The height, big factor, Hill. The release handball made life tough oh. for Ibbotson, who was crashed into. Can they get it back there out here? They've got a couple of players wide. They go to the wrong side of the ground. Now the kick from Duffield up towards Bradley. Knocked away Rance. And the post crashes into Pavlich. This is Cochin collecting. I want to get it back to him from White. Nothing doing for him ahead. That's why he went for that very conservative short kick. And if there was a position on the ground that Fremantle want Richmond to have the ball in a static play, it's on that back flank. Well, they've switched here for the first they've time done all right. for the match. They've done all right to get out the other side. Got to win this. Oh, that was a big ball to be won. Spur got there first when it mattered. Crowley to Pavlich again. Low ball into the pocket. Main looking likely. Tigers with numbers. See, that kick, they did all right to get out the other side, but, you know, we people out there say, well, you know, don't tell us too much about percentage of kicking efficiency and the likes, but when you miss a kick like that, that stops the ball from yep. being in a scoring position for Richmond at the other end. That kick has to hit the target. Right, so. Mundy. No, out on the full. Yeah, they can set up again, though. This is, this. is You don't mind this, giving a free kick away. So you can set up with the uh, defensive positioning behind the ball. Richmond will try and look to switch, but I don't think they've got any hope the way that uh, Frio just perfectly spread out. Look at that. They they don't even look like he doesn't look like he wants to go in the corner at all. Ben Basher, he has a look and said, no, nah, I'm not going out there. It's too dangerous. Kick down the line. He just adjusted the kick. It gave Hill a bit of a look at it. Greer gave him a headache, and he's caught holding the ball. Pavlis decides to take the advantage. Well, the umpire the didn't let him. Yeah, the umpire's chosen to select it wasn't an advantage then. Oh, I think that's a mistake. Yeah, well, that's the way... Uh, sorry, that's not the way it's been explained to us at the start of the year in our DVD and the likes. But having said that, Phil can run around here and get yeah. the journey. They, okay. they can give them more latitude. They give the players more latitude, a chance to change their mind. But to actually make it up for them, no, I yeah. don't think that's right. I think that's. I think you've got a spot on there. That's why the rule was played. Now, he can kick this left foot across. He'll come out in an arc on the left side and sort of slingshot this kick towards goal. Jacko, you see, that's where they kick from at training, isn't it? Is he a show? Oh, definitely. Hill comes in again. He's given it an almighty crack. <laughs> if they hadn't moved the goalposts over during the week, damn it, they would have gone in. <laughs> so they moved them at both ends, did they, Jacko? Oh, that's good. They certainly do. We have a lot of uh, rain over here, and they're conscious of the uh, square being dug out. As you can see, there's a little brown patch there. Not a lot. <laughs> you made that up. Well, the Jacko's right. If they move the posts at oh, one no end, doubt. they've got to counter move them at the other. Otherwise, you've got the goals lopsided on one end oh, of the ground. Big Ivan takes the grab in front of Kepler Bradley. Cochin to half forward, making King test out his marking skills on the wing. He runs into Sandilands over the line. Not the sight you really want to see. It was Fife who. Uh, Got him down in the... Look at the numbers behind Yeah, he can't keep into a deep position. He, he tries to. Yeah. It might work out for them all right. There's some contact there on White. The umpire gave it the green light. Was there a high tackle on McFarlane? He didn't see that either. Look at those purple jumpers around this. Yeah. Team uh, gets. It's taken him half a year to gel to what Ross Lyon has tried yep. to implement in this side. Yep. But now that they have, it could well be a powerful force. Marich got it down. Edwards trying to create for White. I'll just say to you, Tony Shaw, as we wait for this ball to get thrown back in, you're right, they're betting in the defensive style that Ross Lyon loves to go with. Can you imagine how good they'd be with Pavlich and Travis Cloak up forward? Oh. No bite. Getting ahead of yourself there. Yeah. Hill gets it to five. No back bite. to the wing, Morris. He had to go and he tried to. Hurley, Ballantyne, has been up and about today. Main and Ballantyne together, they converge on him. Uh, once upon a time, that might have been holding the ball, but uh, it was camped under there for a while. 
Dean Mar gets calls for a bounce. Marich was able to use his superior body strength on Bradley. Bradley boxed on. Hurley sensed an opportunity. Martin took it, drives it long. Riva will have to climb over three. Did enough to get it through to McGuan, who can lay it off. Oh. And it's all there for Nahas. Dangerous kick. Very dangerous kick. It's a slap forward kick out of the pack. Not many players can get a quick snap kick forward that goes 50 through the air. It does make it to a big, big pack, but with the confusion there at the base, well over from Guan, the give to Nahas, he's away. Duffield's one of those backmen who plays on the small man who's good offensively, but can be exposed at ground level by the sharper ones. Nahas's first goal of the afternoon. Second in the Tigers' goal kicking. There's the inside 57 to 2. It was 7 zip at one stage. The Tigers collecting a goal with one of their entries. Still, Sandal is not out there, and the Tigers trying to make the most of it. Thrusting it forward. Oh, there was an opportunity that's gone begging there for Edwards. Instead, it's the counter attack from the Dockers. Duffield. Oh. It lingered for a moment too long. Bradley has to go in and get the hands dirty and the knees dirty as well. He did that. Here's Sandal. It's back on the ground. Trying to just muscle his way through. Tuck and post are the two men behind play in the Dockers' direction. They're at the left-hand side of screen, just looking to try and mop so. So Bradley comes out and will engage post, so there's a man there. Tuck still behind play. He's looking for the man who, who sweeps through, trying to carry and run with the ball. Johnson didn't want to grab it, and the Tigers might be able to take advantage. McGowan lost his footing. Wasn't a good time for it. Johnson to Dawson. And McFarlane's kick is a 50-50 at best. Ballantyne. And the ball is over the line and out of bounds. So we're almost back where we started at halftime. Fremantle increasing the margin from 16 to 18. Physios getting a real work over today and trying warm conditions. Crowley manufactured as good as he could. Ball back over and out again. They've done really well here, the Tigers. I'm a bit surprised here. Duffield has done a good job on Nahas. He's the one they normally try and get free, don't they? It's Johnson now, and they've got Tuck up the other end. It just it comes down to who uses the ball better and more attacking off yeah. that half back line. Newman. Fife. Showed contempt, but couldn't get through. Marich, who bundles it out the back. Oh, Morris got one high, and he's quick to react. Get it into Edwards' hands. Now, Rewalt's deep. The kick goes shallow. Well, that's and a shocking kick. Straight to Johnson, who looks to share it. Instant reaction. McFarlane was springing to the feet quickly. Ibbotson, inch by inch for Freeman. Well, Shane Edwards has got to be better than that. You, you run with the ball, and you know the loose man's there just to keep some control and possession for the football side. Pavlich called upon on the wing. Tuck was a hard man to get past. He's given away the free there. Pavlich. What a tucky, too. He uh, really put that body for an on ball. He's a big on baller, too. Well, a bit of a scrappy handball. Newman had to adjust. Unfortunately, he couldn't from his point of view. And now they can surge forward free man. Oh, five. They just pressed pause for a moment until they sorted out yeah. what was in front and what was out wide. And it was Duffield out wide. Crowley can take this. Delidio has to turn defender. And he couldn't stop Crowley taking the mark. Jacko ex explained how there was so much rain. Jacko, you had a stack of rain here during the week. We saw that it, Chris Newman lost his footing just before he went to kick that. That looked like a slide on the turf. Yeah, it certainly did. Early on in the week, a lot of rain. Uh, it. Matthew Pavlich, as you can see, just come off limping again. It's obviously that right groin, as you can see. The trainer doing a bit of work. And it, where Newman slipped was in the shade, so that dries slower than the rest of the ground with all that rain earlier in the week, and Newman couldn't adjust. Crowley, 11 goals, 11 for the season. Oh, good luck. And that one just... <laughs> <laughs> he thought so too. Just sneaks in. It's out to 19. The Lydia letting him know about the shot for goal. That's some very important massage going on there for Fremantle. Big, healthy kick back into play. And Cochin almost came from the clouds to take that mark. 
He couldn't quite against Spurs season over. Sense here. had a, a massive opportunity here for Richmond. Matthew Pavlich obviously struggling. Aaron Sandy lands not a lot of game time. See how he goes mm. in the second half. Two major players. If Fremantle, if Richmond can really get back to back goals here, they'll be asking the question. So the video momentarily held without it. Not spotted. Bradley put their head down, so no free kick. White was able to rip the ball out of his hands. Richmond through Alice first of all, then Jackson. The give to Martin was a careful one. Now King has to wait longer than he would have liked. That is beautiful for Martin Hutto. He's come into it, Dustin Martin. Yeah. Four possessions this quarter now. And they needed another link coming forward. Didn't find one. Instead, had to rely on the run from behind, provided by the captain. Newman finds Alice. And again, it's a gradual build-up. I reckon Dugan. when they got Kingy out on the wing, they wanted that to keep going forward. But by not doing it now... Oh, Greg rolled the dice. You've got to be very... Oh, that's only 50 metres. You've got to be very efficient with what you're doing here and be patient on your build-up. So McGuan with the footy. He doesn't want to be kicking. No, no. Piercing the eye of the needle. Instead, <laughs> yeah. he gives it to Rance. Makes it his issue to it's deal with. His knee wants to kick it either. Oh, oh, Rance, it's a low like ball. Didn't even enter the 50. Marked by Barlow. Oh, he's got some options on the wing, and they're growing all the time. The spread's on. Main instant gift to Crowley. Pavlich might still end up with it here. Ballantyne takes it. He can kick it into the square. And before you can say Matthew Pavlich is a star, they've kicked another one. Well, even on one leg, he's going to be valuable for Fremantle. Well done. You've got to get the, hand, the ball in the hands of good kicks if you want to win big games. The people who can use it. I reckon if you were Fremantle and you had to defend a kick coming out of the centre for 18 Richmond players on the ground, if you said, I want to defend a shabby kick coming into our back line, you'd say, well, put it in the hands of McGuan or Rance. playing a part in the lead up two goals for Pavlich takes him to 59 the thing that's disappointing though is that McGuan and Rance invented the pressure on themselves and they're not fantastic kicks they're not great kicks and they invented that pressure and coughed it up what will the impact of this of, uh, of the scoreboard be on the mindset of the Tigers they need to maintain belief three man forward line you have a look Ballantyne Pavlich and main down there for the Dockers, left-hand side of the screen. He's a talented little fella, that one. <laughs> Nasty little piece of work. I reckon he's fantastic. <laughs> Martin almost made it his own. Here's Maritz to add a bit oh, of strength. No. And Bob, oh, great oh, tackle no good. from Mundy will be rewarded. He knew what he was trying to yeah. do. He just overthought the situation in the end. I love the, the attack on it and the, the exuberance to take it and drive away. Again, he goes for Pavlich, who can't quite this time. The Tiger defence looking for some, for some respite. Cotchen forced to just bang it on the boot, and it stays in, and now goes over the line and out of bounds. Matthew Pavlich, multiple goal kicker the last 11 games. Kicked 71 goals in 2006, Matthew Pavlich, 72 in 2007. And he now has 59 to his name. Just after that O'Hanlon man into the mark against Maine, he's uh, become a forward since then, sure. Tuck. Close to the line, but unfortunately for Richmond, oh. score might work to their favourite still, but Clancy Pierce has other ideas, other plans. Hill. There's always a buzz around the crowd when he's got the footy. Main again a good target. Could still oh, come well, Ballantyne's well. way. He created that one. Pavlich again the beneficiary, but it just wobbles away. Morris is sore. And I'll tell you what, Pavlich should have handballed from ground level at Ballantyne then. Ballantyne gave him a spray, and the captain deserved it. Because from ground level, first option all the time. Just don't worry about Shane Tucker's oh. loose man in defence. Oh. Got an issue, just his kicking ability. Oh, a couple like of groans there for the Tigers. Like that. <laughs> they might still get out here. 
But this Fremantle organisation that they're facing, as we've said, now that they know how Ross Lyon wants them to play. This is fraught with danger now, though. It's with Cochin that he's going to go. It's oh. treacherous stuff for the Tiger defence. Somehow Cochin's able to find the escape valve and drive to the middle of the ground. Revolt didn't mark it. He got a little lucky one there from That's Duffield. That's so lucky because he applied it fairly softly. Yeah, but it just was there. The umpire was on the spot. Just from playing on the outer. Now he's got to use his left foot, Jack. It's not a bad kick. Ibbotson against King. Oh, great effort. That was one against three yeah, there. it was. It's a big win for Garrick Ibbotson. Ibbotson. Wants to go sideways immediately, but Richmond he still wants to go sideways. And he well, finds Spur. You see, the problem with this... The only thing problem with this style of game is that they lock down so well Fremantle. Once the ball gets turned over, they get it. It's not that far for Richmond to find their opponents. Because they, yeah, they've had the, the, the clamps applied to them, so it's pretty pretty easy to find who you should be getting to. Guys, just a lot of discussion down here between the physios uh, regarding Aaron Sandilands. He has missed a lot of football, yeah. given the conditions. They just did some work on his uh, calves, so probably expecting him to be one that gets subbed down. You think they might the sub him? Well, I've you? just got to gut feel that uh, the amount of work and consultation down here, they're obviously conscious, knowing yeah. that if they are going to play finals football, they can't afford an injury. Yeah, to good point, Jacko. Might depend on the margin. At the moment, it's reasonably comfortable at 26, so they could build some more. And that's not a great kick from McFarlane. And Helby decided to take them on, showed the initiative that he needed to. Unfortunately, in the moment of panic, he's just kicked it quickly forward. But that's going to hurt them too, that well, kick. As might. brave as you think it yeah. was. DeBoer gets shut down illegally. They'll score from here. Johnson's on out wide. And the kick will just reach him, which spells danger. Johnson with the bullet. Shot. Yeah, it wasn't great, was it? For Pavlis to try and hunt down. They did well there, the no. Tides, to stave off a scoring opportunity. Weeks a long time in footy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking back to last Friday week. And good afternoon to the Geish. As the ball is thrown back into play. Here's Pavlich. Gets the handball up onto the 50. Johnson worked over by Martin. Bull at the gate as he always is. Tigers need some inspiration off this half-back line. They are being rounded up by this Fremantle side. And they're not going to die wondering. Not a great time for a fit of the fumbles from Johnson. Five helped him out. Now, Walters tried to pinpoint, but couldn't hit the ball. Instead, it was Tuck oh, and Newman. Oh, and the Tigers have got through. a good collective in the middle here. And they work their way through Greg. And they've got to keep running to give more options for Rewalt. Must and be. they do. King, nothing really between him and the goals. McGuan's there oh. for him. He bypasses McGowan, goes on his own, and we know why he did that. It's a good result. He's had a massive game, I reckon, Jakey King. Three goals as a small forward, and that was well done by Richmond. Just to keep control. We thought they might have messed it up. Greg gets the ball out wide, and just here, Jack Rewalt, I thought maybe that hanging in the air, and this is a bad tackle. Stephen Hill, you've got to know, he had to take the... Um, impetus off the run at the person and then try and corral him a little bit so that he knew he was going to double back then. Keep him out of the corridor. So Richmond get it back to within 20 points. We know what's at stake and if you've just joined us, this is it. Fremantle in front. This is the live ladder so this gives the four points to Fremantle but if Richmond win, they are very much alive as far as this season is concerned. It's a huge task. Can they get a late goal to give themselves a bit of a sniff at three-quarter time? Three and a half minutes remaining. Fremantle through Pierce. The door remains ajar for White. And now this is Marich. Another one back to White. Uh -oh. They've got the half forward. There was Fremantle jumpers everywhere. They've maintained possession, though. Martin with his bullocking style. Ninth possession for Dustin Martin in this quarter. He's lifted his intensity, but he's still only running at 50% for the day. What he's hitting the target with, but he, you can see he's absolutely willing himself into the contest now. Stepped up a gear, Dusty Martin. I thought he kicked that. He did. That it must have just been a fresh too late, late. Too late. in the umpire's mind. 2-4 to 2 straight for the quarter for Fremantle. They've taken the lead to 20 points. Michael Johnson 
Goes searching into the middle. Oh. 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 The result is terrific for Fremantle. Ballantyne bouncing. Main, can he get back onto it? Nobody really knew where the footy was going to end up there. And Morris was the first to adjust. Oh, look at Main. Main, I tell you what, his body language towards his teammates has been pretty ordinary the last 10 minutes. Hasn't been hit on the target a number of times. And he's having a go at his teammates. Got to pull his head in there. Margin is 20. Now it's the tap, but Ballantyne into the open real estate. Morris escorts it out. Two minutes 30 now and counting. They've got some options, Fremantle. What, what Jacko was talking about before subbing Sanderlands out, if they go that way. They've got Johnson, who's played back all day and hasn't gone for many long searching runs, so he's going to be fit. They've got Kepler Bradley. They've also got Zach Dawson, who's had no time away from the back pocket, full back area. So they've got some options to run out the rest of the game in the ruck. Well, somehow they've got out of there, the Tigers. High ball from Greek. Oh, Ebbotson. Good grab and turned quickly, looking to see what was ahead for him. I think Ross Lyon, before he makes that decision, if he does sub Sandlands out, would like a quick goal here before three-quarter time. Yeah, he's going to wait to the three-quarter time. You'd think now, Jack, have right. two minutes to go. Free kick. Advantage paid after a long wait. Tucks had a massive quarter. His 12th disposal takes him to the wing. And again, oh, not paid, Ibbotson. Thought he did enough. Now he might be in trouble. He is. Oh, no, in the back. Oh. Very lucky there, Garrick Ibbotson. As a defender, you need to spoil that. He tried to mark it and hedged his bet, and he's very lucky to come away with that. I thought he actually did mark it, Jacko. Oh. But, but obviously, uh, he, he didn't. Great I guess always as a defender, you play the percentage. When you're yeah. only 20 points up, no, don't start to be cute. <laughs> and Jacko, of course, one of the great defenders. Oh, it's going to open in up in game. the middle of the ground for Clancy Pierce. He hasn't seen him. No, he didn't. McFarlane. Takes the ring road instead, out to the wing. And this is up for grabs here for the Tigers. They've got numbers. McGuan instructed to go short to Revolt. It pitched. Here's Delidio. Big moment in the game, and Delidio knew it. Oh, what a kick off the left. There's hope for Richmond. That is a super goal. <laughs> that is a super goal yes. story. Has to slant it across the body, has to hit it sweet. You're talking about degrees of millimetres where you strike the ball with your boot. He knows if he keeps running the straight line, he gets gobbled up by the chaser from behind Crowley. Has to do a little detour, get side on, and has to strike it sweet. Guys, the Tigers are right in this. Frio are actually tonguing at this uh, quarter here. They're all hunched over. You would think that Fremantle are the travelling side, but uh, the Tigers, they've got a sniff. Yeah, it's a great point, Jacko. Marich is up and about. Thumped forward by five. To centre half forward, Morris tapped it away. Ballantyne, 48 seconds. He took them on. He was forced to handball along the line. And ran. Oh, that's going to be a free kick. And Matthew Pavel... Oh, not a free kick. I think he's very lucky there, Matthew Pavlich. Well, he's been lucky the last two home games here. <laughs> the Zungu's uh, attacking side of this pack by himself. Greg gets it down. Duffield. They gang up again, Fremantle. Palatine had to hesitate. Decided to kick it in there quick. Not a bad option. The Richmond defence need to be on high alert. Walters goes to work. Gets it out for De Boer to Pavlich. Didn't want to take the shot. Gave it to De Boer. Is that your answer? Yes, it is. And it comes with only 15 seconds on the clock. Fremantle back to that 20 points. And that breathing space is much appreciated, I suspect. And look, Zungo was another option there, Sidon, as well. He was standing in the forward line, as, as called forward side of the stoppage pack, for a good 30 seconds. So they're trying to occupy space, Richmond, and get the corridor area, but they didn't man the player up. De Boer gets to the outside as well. As a look over, he knows the distance. Matty De Boer is one of those forwards who's put out there for his forward line uh, pressure on the opposition. He's turned in, I mean this in the most sincere way, he's turned into a really, really good scrapper. <laughs> He is. He's a, he's a very effective scrapper. Only That's you can only you can pay a, a, both an insult and a compliment at the same time, Tim. Well, <laughs> Just a lovely has, has, he, has he got the class of Stephen Hill? No, of 
Of course no, not. We know so, he's yeah, he's there for his defensive pressure, but he's actually impacting the scoreboard and, yep. and being a very good player. And he would, he would actually hold himself up and say, by league standards, I'm a scrapper. But he's a really, really good one. All right, 20 points is the margin at three-quarter time, Shorey. Any hope for Richmond, or do you think Freo have got well, it? Well, I think this could be a historical win for Richmond. I'd just be getting them together. Jacko said Pavlich and Sandlins are really worrying. You've got to dare to win and don't lose on the opposition's terms. It's Freo by 20 at the last change.